Welcome to the August 30th, 2021 Advanced Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman, president McGowan Group Asset Management based right here in North Texas, serving affluent families as the wealth manager of choice. You can go to NetworthRadio.com and set your time to come down, meet the Crescent team that cares, McGowan Group Asset Management, or set your time for a Zoom call. This five to 10 minute video each week is a fast paced tour of the global financial markets designed to help you make great decisions. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average over the last five years. What we note here with the Dow hitting 35,600 this week, back there below 18,000, that is a doubling of the Dow Jones Industrial Average value. And what does that mean? Well, 100% gain, is it justified by earnings? Well, this week, corporate profits hit $2.8 trillion before taxes for the first time in history. Back five years ago, it was about two trillion. So you got a 40% increase in profits, the ultimate valuation for companies, and a 100% increase in the value of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the S&P too, for that matter. Well, what does that mean? That's multiple expansion. And it sets the stage when multiples begin to contract, well, that exacerbates the potential correction, which is why tactical safety is important and a fixed income strategy as well. Here, we're looking at how much money do the S&P 500 companies make after tax? Well, in this case, that's about $50 per quarter, had been about 40 for the first time in 2018, uh, and then topped it again after the pandemic. U.S. companies manage the pandemic extraordinarily well, and their balance sheet's actually extraordinarily healthy, uh, really healthy compared to the history. This is projected to go from 50 per S&P unit per quarter to 60. That'd be a 20% increase. The proposed tax increase would take that down by 10%, and it would stunt this growth and change the projection. So you wanna watch those tax bills, especially with such a high deficit being run by the federal government and the high debt level. What is this? Well, Japan actually took their debt level uh, to a record above 100% of GDP, and at the same time, pushed their interest rates to zero by printing a lot more money. Part of the reason they did that was Japan was leading the semiconductor export market and their Nikkei Dow hit 39,000. And you could see, I met with Sir John Templeton back in 1990, he said, I could see the Nikkei Dow going from 30,000 to 10,000. Wow, he was right, it actually went to 7,000. That is a long, miserable period. The Nikkei Dow now 27,000 versus 39,000. So that's a 32-year history of Japan while their debt ran way up, reaching 100% of GDP, which was unheard of for a developed country. They pushed their interest rates to zero. What happened to growth in Japan? Here, this is, of course, positive growth rate, negative growth rate. You could see similar recessions, but they had an extra small recession in 2011 and in 2014, but their average growth rate descended to about 1%. It's actually been called the lost decades. Well, that was high debt levels, and of course it's an example that says the U.S. growth rate from here could actually slow down to about 1% on average, which is slowing growth, meaning multiple contraction. You wanna be very careful to pick your spots and not overpay for companies. That's the real message. And we'll conclude with this week's top 10, bottom 10. We take the S&P 500, the 500 leading companies, if you will, in the United States, and say, this past week, what does this tell us? The top 10, Penn National Gaming, CSR Entertainment, Las Vegas, uh, Wynn Resorts, MGM Resorts, Gambling was hot this week. 
and energy way hot this week. The energy stocks woke back up. Devon Energy uh, in the top 10, uh, Baker Hughes in the top 10. Now we go to the, uh, the bottom. The bottom was actually discount retailers, Dollar Tree and Ross stores, while at the same time Best Buy had a great week. They didn't make the top 10, but they had a great week. And so you're starting to see rotation and some of the retailers like Williams Sonoma are just absolutely killing it on results right now. I'm Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Asset Management, your financial weatherman. Thank you for joining us for the fast paced tour of the global financial markets with insights to portfolios that you just can't get anywhere else. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I'm Spencer McGowan, President McGowan Group, your financial weatherman. We sponsor each week NetworthRadio.com broadcast that has the charts and graphs, many of which you saw today. We also sponsor this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for fast breaking news, an alert when we post something in a market condition that may have changed. Our goal is to help you as an investor make the right decisions at the right time. And that's part of what this YouTube channel is about as well as NetWorthRadio.com. I am well served with a team of 10 people including myself and that team that cares is actually made up of people who devoted to your net profits and your success as well as excellence in service. If you want an educational experience to follow this up, get to NetWorthRadio.com, TheMcGowanGroup.com. Right here, we disclose our net client experience all the way back to 2001. What that includes, the bear market cycles of 02, 08, 2018, and the recoveries through the most recent quarter. That is true education of investors and exactly how our clients have done disclosed right here. Further disclosures, value at risk of loss. Yes, investments are going to fluctuate. That's part of the reason for this broadcast. And that can actually work to your advantage. We'll build that into your plan. So I urge you to go to NetWorthRadio.com, fill out the preliminary client questionnaire, a free one-hour brainstorming session by phone or at the Crescent in Dallas, and we will map out a multi-year plan for you and your family that's appropriate. Just because we talk about a security on this broadcast or any securities doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until you have that written plan. Thank you for tuning in today and we'll be back next week as your financial weatherman.